I have not been thrifting since the end of April. I'm about to take the uh, beautiful new Bronco here on its maiden thrift voyage, guys. Let's go see, after a month and a half of no sourcing, what am I gonna find today? All right. <laughs> I can't even believe what I'm about to find. I was just on with Angie Resells over on her channel and she talked about having this camera back in like the late 90s, early 2000s. This exact camera I found it the very next day. So I'm not really finding anything in the thrift store and then I walked by this huge rack of swimsuits and I saw this print and I stopped what I was doing to go check out this swimsuit. And when I got there, like not only is it Trina Turk, hello, it's also my size. Um, I tried it on and the neckline's just, it's a no. Um, so I guess this will be for sale. I mean, retail well over $100 here. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to resell it, somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks. This cost me $4, so not a bad first day back at the thrift store. I went to the gym after we thrifted and then I headed over to Israel's baseball game, you guys. He had his last t-ball game of the season so it was super super fun he got a big hit and it was just so much fun to see all the kids out there but now i am back in the office and i have all of this stuff to ship so um let's see what sold okay it is a peplum style top with rhinestones all across the top um here's what the tag looks like bisu bisu um size medium sold um really really quickly this was one of the last items that i listed in the death pile and it's already sold ten dollars and 26 cents plus 480 shipping on that i sold one of the last remaining pair of um these go actually over your glasses so there's sunglasses that fit over your normal glasses i paid a dollar for these walmart retail arbitrage I just sold them for nine dollars and ninety cents with free shipping shipping's went up a little bit since i sourced these um but yeah i'm still turning a little bit of a profit on those and i honestly i didn't even have to take the pictures for those i sold another cassette tape you guys know i love selling cassette tapes i picked these up for I'm starting to forget. Was it a quarter a piece? Yeah, four for a dollar for these. This one, I took a best offer. They said they were going to play it, which I found really interesting because it's sealed, um, but it does have a little bit of damage to the top seal. But anyway, they said they were going to play it, but they would love to have it. It's been listed for a long time for $50. This is the first offer that came in, came in for $30 plus shipping, so I sold it to them. Here are a pair of sandals, uh, N-A-O-T, um, however you pronounce that. I won't butcher it. Uh, these only sold for $21 plus eight dollars and fifty cents shipping they are my size i considered keeping them tried them on didn't really love them so they they found a new home for i mean the buyers all in it close to 30 bucks for those had a buyer of two photographs these are pretty cool okay so this first photo of the guy it's a man in a hula costume he's holding a cigarette these are from the 70s um and this one i don't i think she's like uh the wolf man or something um from the costumes that i looked up i think that's what this one's supposed to be and it, clearly a woman in this one as the wolf man and a man in this one as a hula girl so um somebody bought both of these uh buyer is all in 16 dollars um for the photos and then nine dollars and thirty cents for the shipping it won't cost anywhere near that to ship i had first class shipping turned on on both of these um but yeah they sent me a best offer on each of them so i probably won't refund shipping because i've already come off on the price um of eight dollars a piece for the photos i have very few of the gloves that i bought at the estate sale these are kid leather gloves um that i picked up for two dollars a pair i found them in this closet in an estate sale and i bought a ton of them you guys these are the cheapest ones that have sold so far uh, they sold for sixteen dollars and fifty cents plus five dollars shipping i sold an alf magazine and it's funny because i just um shipped out one identical to this uh christopher nutter bought it and thank you so much christopher um and by the time this airs i think he'll already have it i drew this really cool alf on the back <laughs> of this package um kind of kind of resembled this one a little bit anyway 
then this one sold like the next day so this sold for twenty dollars plus four dollars and sixty cents shipping this is just a basic long sleeve um really thin lucky brand top lucky brand seems like a great brand because it retails for so much but it doesn't really resell for that much in my experience i, I sold this for eleven dollars and sixty eight cents with free shipping so not really making a ton on that one here's a bodysuit i bought for me but it just like oh my gosh it fit terribly you guys so i just resold it instead i got eight dollars and ninety cents plus four dollars and sixty five cents shipping and it's just a white tank top bodysuit the brand on the bodysuit is gaze is something that was like a tj maxx or ross or whatever like random you know no name boutique stuff this one is an interesting sale here these are called big eye lee so if you type in big eye lee you can see some of them are really worth quite a bit of money i found this at an estate sale um that they let me go in and pick through things at the end um it has obviously some damage to all the corners when i was picking this um they pulled some comps up on ebay and i mean they weren't they were listed comps where someone was asking like hundred dollars and someone was asking like five hundred dollars and trust me when i say it wasn't worth that i listed this at 50 dollars. it's at for a week before someone came and offered actually i think i had it listed at 59 i put out best offers 10 percent off someone offered 30 dollars on it i was like i think i'll hang on to it i want to sell it for a little more than that so i offered them 45 dollars plus $10 shipping and that's what this sold for. So buyers all in at $55 on this damaged Big Eye Lee um, vintage print. Okay, interesting story on these. I thought I was shipping these out, but I guess I'm not. Um, the buyer offered a $13 for these shoes. I think I had them listed at maybe $17. They offered $13 plus $7.50 shipping and they included a note that said, love the shoes, not the color. I'm going to have to dye them, which sounds like a them problem. Um, anyway, I really would rather have the $13 or even 10 bucks, um, rather than these shoes. So I went ahead and took the offer, even though I thought that that wasn't the nicest way to present an offer offer um saying that you don't like something about the the item and like i should have to compensate and come down on the price because you're gonna have to dye them um it would be like if i made an offer on a pair of all white air force ones and said well i i only want them so that i can paint them like that's kind of your decision to do that anyway i went ahead and accepted the offer and i thought that i was shipping these out but it looks like even though these sold like two days ago she still hasn't posted payments so maybe i should have went with what everyone's instinct would have been to ignore a buyer like that and not try to do business with them i'll send a payment reminder and let you guys know in an upcoming video whether or not the buyer came through on these bass shoes i was so proud of my use of these priority mail tubes i took two of them and put them together cut them and everything to make this for the big eye lee print and then i go to measure it across and it's 25 inches across guys it's only one pound eight ounces i don't i'm not sure exactly where it's going i'm gonna see if it's gonna be affordable to mail this via priority mail being 25 inches long um if not i will repackage the daggum thing uh, the buyer paid ten dollars in shipping when i'm shipping items i print a number which is the ounces if it's ounces and pounds, then that's where like the one and then the ounces is underlined the eight. But anyway, and then I just type the like the name brand or blue dress or something about the item. So this is five gays and this is Bisu and it's nine. Um, a lot of sellers I've seen say that they'll write like five ounce and then the zip code. And let me show you exactly why I've always felt like that's a bad idea and why it would totally screw up the shipment today. Here's a pair of the sunglasses, um, ended up being three ounces. And they're headed via GSP um, to the center there in Kentucky, 41025 zip code for this three ounce package. Here's a pair of women's gloves that are three ounces and they are headed to, guess what? The airport exchange GSP 41025. So if I had just written three ounces, 41025 on both of those packages, then I would have to forfeit the shipping supplies, open everything up and see what was what, um, or have already put the wrong label on them. The large print wasn't that bad and I actually was able to send it priority. It ended up being like $12 and change. USPS only wanted uh, $8.95, but you know, some folks overpay, you know, you make 20 cents here, 30 cents there. I have to make a completely separate stop for UPS. So I just decided to go ahead and eat the extra $2 and change. Um, it all comes out in the wash and send this via priority. 
but it definitely wasn't as bad as I thought being 25 inches long. There does seem to be a little bit of confusion about the extra length charge on USPS. Um, packages over 22 inches, you know, I hear a lot of resellers saying that's a $15 charge and it's not. Anything over 22 inches but under 30 is only $4 extra. I saw this posted at my post office recently. Um, and then if it's over 30 inches, then that's when it's the extra $15. So um, yeah, you, you can be 22 inches and still only have a $4 extra fee, 22 to 30. Anything over 30 is $15. I went to the first yard sale of the summer season the other day for me because when the yard sales all picked up, uh, that was during my sourcing freeze. I found this mag light for $1.50. I'm not gonna sell this. This is gonna go in the Bronco as part of my um, emergency kit. And, but look how cute these are. 75 cents for this one. Um, my friend was running this yard sale for her grandma. She ended up just making me a bulk um, $5 uh, on everything. This is so cool. I love this. These are made to where you can hang them uh, on the wall. I'm not sure if I'll repaint these or exactly if I'll just sell them like they are. This guy is getting repainted though. How ugly is this little armadillo? You can be honest, you're not gonna hurt his feelings. Here, I'll plug his ears. Now, say how ugly he is. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Loader. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Ew, but <laughs> such a Texas sight here, right? My husband and I um, went to the thrift store. Well, he actually had to go to Lowe's, and so he was kind enough to let me um, tag along to this town he was going to and go to the Goodwill there. Um, and let me show you guys the stuff that I found at the Goodwill. It's still out in his truck. I really need to get it out of his truck. Okay, they had this pottery. Guys, $4.99 for this handmade pottery. Uh, so I bought this um, pitcher. I have no idea what it's worth. I just couldn't leave it there because an artist took time, like probably a lot of time and made this. I would hang on to this before I just let it sit in the Goodwill. So um, hopefully that's worth something. I got a couple different pieces of pottery actually. I got this bowl for $2.54 and it's handmade also, really, really pretty. And then I found this mug, which is also handmade, $2.54 for this handmade, oh, I can't even, but I just thought the whole set is beautiful. I mean, I'm, I probably won't sell it as a set, um, but all of it is so pretty. I got this little dog, he's mid-century. He says Japan on his feet. Isn't he so cute? Some type of like a terrier or something. Anyway, there on his paw, he says Japan. He was $3.67. Oh, I totally forgot that I even got this monkey is $3.67. And was there three of these? I think there's two of these. They're bookends, that's right. $3.67 at Goodwill, and then the bookends at my local thrift store the other day were $6 a pair. Anyway, $3.67. Let's see if I paid that for both of them. No, okay, they were $3.67 each, but they're so cute. Yeah, those were probably bookends. <laughs> I went ahead and bought those. I bought these, I'll probably hang them on, um, on my own wall. Look at this little sombrero, and then look at the pink one. It's so cute. These were $2.54. I got this carnival glass. This is so pretty, you guys. This one is like super, super iridescent. Um, it's like a rainbow of color. Look how beautiful that is. I probably paid too much for it. Um, it's worth more than this, but I don't know. Resale values, $7.37. I mean, there's a little bit of money to be made there, but not like a ton. And then I got this pinata stick because Israel's birthday is coming up. It's been a crazy, hectic week. Lots of things going on in the world of reselling also with eBay, uh, you know, launching a new live auction platform or live auction like selling opportunity but only very very select sellers are invited into the program right now so really not enough information to really even talk about it other than the fact that it's out there and then also Goodwill has launched a reseller platform that's crazy would I sign up for it yeah probably <laughs> so hopefully we'll have some more information to actually like properly discuss those things coming up quickly but just had to get a video out and um, yeah I've been spending a lot of time sitting right here in this rock chair on my porch uh, soaking up the sun trying to get a little bit of a tan and staring at this Bronco I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope maybe you even found some you know bolo items to look for in the future thank you so much for watching God bless and remember treat your business like your business All right. <laughs> Oh, it's good, man.